Hello listener. In our previous video, we have discussed about comparing ratios. Today we are going to do some exercise problem based on comparing ratio. Why we are using comparing ratio? Without using, with, the, with seeing the equation only, we have to say whether it is a coincident intersecting or parallel one without drawing a graph. We discuss about some three important condition how to find out whether a given equation is a coincident one, cons coincident one, parallel one or intersecting one. So, what is your first condition we have discussed that if your coefficient a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, it is intersecting one, okay, it is intersecting one. If your coefficient a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is equal to c1 upon c2, then it is a coincident, okay. Third one, if a1 upon a2 is equal to b1 upon b2 is not equal to c1 upon c2, it is considered as parallel equation. What we say that these two type of intersecting and coincident is also called as consistent pair of linear equation, consistent, okay, it is called as consistent, it is called as inconsistent pair of linear equation. If any equation is in this, in any one of this form, you can call as, it is a consistent pair of linear equation. If your equation come in this form, you can say it is a inconsistent pair of linear equation. Let us do some problems related to comparing ratios. First question. So, exercise 4.1 of pair of linear equation in two variables, question 1, okay. In that question 1, you are discussing about first bit, 5x minus 4y plus 8 is equal to 0, 7x plus 6y minus 9 is equal to 0, okay. What you are what is the first step means whatever the equation you are writing it must be in the form of a1 x plus b1 y plus c is equal to 0 a2 x plus b2 y plus c equal to 0 it is in the form of this pair of linear equation in two variables after writing your equation means this equation is in this form only. So, no need to convert it. After that, what we have the next step is you have to find out the coefficient of the variable of your equation 1 and equation 2. What is your a1? a1 is equal to 5, b1 is equal to minus 4, here minus 4 is there, you have to write minus 4 and c1 is equal to 8. What is your a2? a2 is 7, b2 is equal to 6, c2 is equal to minus 9, okay, minus 9. Then what you have to do? You have to substitute in which form your equation will come, okay. a1 upon a2, what is a1 upon a2? 5 by 7 comma, what is your b1 upon b2 is your minus 4 by 6, c1 upon c2 is equal to 8 by minus 9, 2 to the 4, 2 3 the 6, just consider that a1 upon a2, b1 upon b2, the values are not same, so it belongs to your first category, okay, a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2, b1 upon b2 means it is a consistent pair of linear equation. So, what you will write? Hence, lines, hence lines representing, representing 
pair of equation equation intersect intersect it is a consistent pair of linear equation it is a consistent pair of linear equation consistent pair of linear equation in two variable two variable consistent consistent in this manner you have to solve remaining other problems of your exercise if you had any doubt regarding anything just give your doubts in the comment box and subscribe my channel noble educations for latest updated videos